the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound here prophet isaiah was prophesying about the ministry of jesus there are four kinds of ministry the first one the lord has anointed me to preach the good news the good the gospel to the poor those who are poor in the spirit the second ministry he has sent me to heal the broken hearted that means god anointed jesus to heal the broken hearted people the third ministry to proclaim liberty to the captives and the third fourth one and the opening of the prison to those who are bound is mainly talk about um, the healing and the last one is deliverance so these are the four kinds of ministry god gave to jesus mainly the isaiah was prophesying about it tonight i am going to focus on the second point Tonight I'm going to focus in the on the second point. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. Jeremiah chapter 3:17 if you have bible please turn Jeremiah chapter 3:17. Sorry 30:17. Chapter 30 verse 17. For I will restore health to you. and heal your wounds says the lord hallelujah once again man i'm going to read it jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 for i will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds says the lord hallelujah that was a great promise from the book of jeremiah here god was uh, prophet isaiah was uh, prophesying about the ministry about jesus what is a broken hearted situation and the definition of broken hearted is says that overwhelmed by sorrow or worries bible says do not worry about anything hallelujah bible says do not worry about anything whatever we need we have to ask to god we have to pray to god our father hears each and every prayer hallelujah see whenever we worry we allow worry and anxiety what will happen it it will grow gradually you may we may worried about little bit, little thing in the month of july or something or in the month of Ju- um, september if re, if you are re, if, if you really to uh, allow that worry to grow it will go, when we reach up to december the worry will become that much high hallelujah see what we have to do we have to pluck it out that worry and anxiety from the beginning onwards hallelujah because when we hear the news we can hear that see the recession is coming the rbi the bank is going to do that one the property that one this one you know the job is going lost so whenever we hear the news no all the time there is a chance of this kind of worry and anxiety can come in our life see what we have to do we have to resist that kind of worry we have to reject that kind of worry and anxiety from our life that time what will happen the peace of god will come upon our life hallelujah see when we lose the peace we lose everything hallelujah that's why bible says jesus is the prince of peace hello everyone say prince of peace prince of peace he is a peace giver he is a peace producer we cannot buy peace from any shopping mall we cannot get peace from any other resources than god so whatever the peace comes through the um, entertainments or any kind of other activities it is temporary it is not eternal hallelujah but the peace comes from god if the when the peace comes from jesus though that kind of peace is everlasting hallelujah everyone say everlasting everlasting so i am coming i am going to come to the broken heart at um, uh, about i am going to minister about broken heartness i was in a country in the middle east Uh, i was uh, preaching about this um, this message but i was uh, pointing out some other points that time Uh, you know that day the meeting was um, you know full with 
power and anointing the uh, holy spirit was flowing all over the people so they never expected that kind of meeting that um, uh, they ne- they never expected that kind of experience such that kind of experience in their life you know one lady came for me uh, she was the pastor's wife then she began to weep i know god touched her in a special way she got delivered from many kind of things then later on she came and told me see uh, i was you know i want to share my story i said okay i'm happy to hear your story she said see um, she uh, prepared a meal in her uh, place she invited me and another pa- pastor in charge they i think th- three or four of us um, then we went for the dinner that time she said this story she so look at that picture she pointed out a picture and she said look at that picture that man was my husband i married to that um, um, papa he, he was at that time he was not a pastor i married to him the years gone he we started a church in the middle east the church began to grow uh, it was mainly about pakistani congregation not in indian congregation pakistani congregation they were doing a good job but uh, this man had a uh, trouble uh, with the heart or something but when he reached in the certain age what happened um, unexpected you know um, something happened Stra- he passed away but this was a shock in her heart the lady was the pastor's wife then she said from that day onwards i you know i i never expected that that was happening that will happen in my life you know it was unexpected thing it's broke her heart it it happened few years ago but every moment every time she will remember about his death it was happen and, and i i was sharing it you know like a story uh, to i want to explain how how the broken hearts can affect the people she said you know every day i will be about my husband i look at the picture it's a it was a big picture it frame like a, a from half a meter size closer to half a meter size every time i look at the picture and i'll cry god why 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 is happened to me why every time she used to cry then her her you know nephews and uh, brothers and sisters all they said see um she was in a great agony she was going through a pain but something happened tonight hallelujah look at that because jesus clearly god clearly so uh, bible clearly saying about only god can heal a broken hearted person see that was one of the cause one cause see why the brokenness coming upon the people the mainly a uh, few things uh, s- certain examples first of all a sudden death i just i explained to you incidents accidents loss of loved ones some like children or family member or someone another thing immediate divorce or some kind of uh, divorce suicide in the family or in the relatives or someone betrayal another thing cheating family relationship problems immediate bankruptcy and the, the, here are few points but i am going to share one of my story i have started a business in 2009 i started a business because i had a great desire to start a business i was praying lord i want to start a business and uh, do lot of things for god Uh, to do mission works you know that was one of my passion i started a business i found out a guy from india i we went to india we uh, put a we hired a factory we start set it up everything then one of the one of my friend not a close friend one of the man said see brother i will come and help you he was you know i trusted him uh, we were working together i was spending money you know i was investing money every time every month we had the staff they used to come we purchase the machineries and we put the we got started the you know we set up the self system and we start to run the business then uh, i came back to australia i was doing uh, my job i was working for a company a uh, few months gone no money is coming out from the business i was keep spending i was paying 
salary to the uh, employees every month when the time come they will call me he will call me see we had to pay the salary even he i had to pay for him as well uh, he he was getting a little bit higher salary and for the yeah, for every staff we need to pay for around four i think three to five in between that see months gone around six months every month i am losing money i have to work i had to send money to the i had to pay for the workers it was it broke my heart lord why is what is happening when i was there everything was flowing i gave to him i trusted him now why it is happening why why there is no growth every month i am spending money um, you know uh, it, it is not easy thing i should have used that money to do something in my family or something else see uh, one day i took a decision i am going to began to ask god that time i was very uh, just a believer uh, i go touch me in 2005 february 5 but in 2009 uh, just only 4 months in christ i am 4 months old child at that time i know, i don't know much about the word of god and i don't know much about the anointing and about the prophetic or nothing i was just a believer but i have a desire in my heart to sh- do something for god i sp- i uh, prayed 3 days fasted and prayed diligently i prayed lord i need an answer why why the money is not coming why whatever i saw is not reaping because i invested this much money i had to pay for the bank and you know the lot of things the pressure come i have the salary you need to give for the bill side to give, the pay for the material supplies and all the people will you know i am paying money i know it's going to crash soon so uh, three days over the third day god spoke through me from the word of god hallelujah from the book of luke one man he planted vineyard and he went to the foreign country he gave to someone you know after that he came he sent his few of servants what they, what they done the people who were keeping the vineyard they beat him up then finally this another the man sent the owner sent sent another group of people same thing happened to them then at the at the end uh, he thought like this see if i send my own son they will respect my son you know what they what they did they said this is a in her you know he is going to in this is a owner come this is the next uh, in he is going to inherit this vineyard better we can kill him we can own this property what they did they killed him finally the owner came and uh, sent him everything everyone out and he restored that vineyard so god spoke through me from that particular script so that time i realized that the man was working in india the manager he was doing something wrong i understood i took the phone i you know spiritual anger anger came upon me i took the phone i said you are cheating me then he said sorry brother he was a christian brother see uh, sorry brother uh, i am going to start my own business i'm taking some some of your customer you said you don't take the order from that customer i'm going to use them i made a uh, made some arrangements with them i'm going to use that customer as my customer but still i will look after you uh, but i'm going to start something else new see that one struck my heart i experienced this you know what happened immediately i felt there is a fire going through my spirit my soul or something happened i couldn't control my emotions i thought i'm going to fall because i trusted everything i invested all the money i was expecting tomorrow the money is coming tomorrow's money is come tomorrow tomorrow but nothing happened but this i heard about this man cheated me immediately it struck my spirit what happened i felt i'm going to collapse i'm going to fall i hold the nearest wall i lean against the wall then when i when i look at myself the tears were flowing through my eyes i was not crying but it's broke my heart i was standing uh, holding the wall still i remember i was holding that room uh, wall and i was i don't know something happened inside not the outside then i saw that uh, blessy was walking that do- door she found out that i was leaning against the wall she came and uh, hold me and put in me in the chair look at that this is a way is called heart brokenness hallelujah how many of you have experienced heart brokenness in your life look at that only jesus can heal 
the heart brokenness hallelujah no human no doctors no people can heal a broken hearted person because the wounds not went into the body the wounds went into the soul hallelujah because only jesus can heal a broken hearted person if we try to do something other way if we draw if we try to get some help from the medical science or some people i tell you we they can't give us a permanent solution they can't heal us they can't heal you but only jesus can heal a broken hearted person hallelujah that's why here prophet prophet isaiah was prophesying see he god has anointed him to heal the broken hearted people hallelujah that is the greatest ministry hallelujah if the heart our 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 no they you know once the healing happen our soul or our heart what will happen the external manifestation will happen our body automatically will heal hallelujah in that day i still remember i prayed for the people i tell you the people got healed like that the people, the deliverance you know happen in their spirit in their soul hallelujah see most of the sickness and most of the challenges what we go through is coming is because of the brokenness what we went through in the past hallelujah if you are not ready to get along with that if you are not ready to work for that to come out from that issue i'll tell you whatever we do it is in vain hallelujah we have to settle every matters quickly we don't give any time or any moment the devil to come on come and destroy our peace hallelujah don't give any access to the enemy to get into our house or get into our life so what we have to do we have to reject that kind of things we have to settle the matter everything in quickly don't don't delay don't delay for one day one month next year no no whenever god speak to something into us what we have to do we have to settle the matters everything quickly hallelujah look at that i went around it's taken 3 months time to settle that issue i don't know how to be healed how to come out from that issue i know my heart broken but i don't know whenever i think about that man i'll tell you i got fear will come in one side one side anger will develop one side my worry will come oh i lost everything money gone money gone you know all the time gone all the my everything wasted whatever i done in vain look at that he cheated me i will get angry against him you know it's taken 3 months time i began to pray lord if i go like this is not going to be is going to affect my body it is it is going to affect my family and marriage and my children i will express and you know that anger towards someone that's not good what i do um, what i did i began to pray then slowly slowly god began to heal that hallelujah god sent a man of god to this country i hope he is coming back again <laughs> to our, to minister to us now he is a big famous man uh, you know he is flying all around um, see all over the world what i am going to say Uh, god used that particular man to bring the solution he opened the scriptures one by one then he god used him to speak through the uh, that um, word and finally i took a decision i'm going to release that person i'm going to release that uh, that incident from my life then you know what I, what did the deliverance happened in my spirit hallelujah there was no external manifestation manifestation no rolling on the round no snake manifested no lizard manifested nothing manifested i tell you that bro- that brokenness happened in my soul it got healed hallelujah see god is a healing business hallelujah not only in the body it is not only in our finances not only in our marriages but our soul hallelujah god is interested in our healing um, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, sorry the next thing i want to read uh, sam's chapter 34 verse 18 can we take that scripture that's uh, one of the beautiful scripture sam's chapter 34 verse 18 if you got you can read Hallelujah see the lord is near to those who have a broken heart look at that what a beautiful scripture is if you went to brokenness if you if you are going through brokenness but bible says the lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves 
such as have a contrite spirit look at that see god is interested god is near to us if you go through any kind of brokenness if we go to um, if you been through any kind of brokenness look, bible says that god is near to a broken hearted person when we um, when we study about uh, joseph's life genesis chapter 36 i think yeah 36 joseph had a dream he was a young boy he was the um, he was the um, best child in that family i can say because that's why jacob gave him a best coat color of you know that color has a spe- many colors of the special coat he prepared it he made it and gave to him he um, jacob loved him very much uh, one day he had a dream this small boy little young man what is that, that boy he shared the dream to his brothers the next time he had another dream that dream was like this sun and moon and 11 stars are going to bow, uh, bow down in front of me the father rebuked him what kind of dream this is you think my um, your father your, your mother and all the told um, 11 star, um, told stars are going to bow down father rabbi cream but you know what happened the uh, months gone the all other brothers were doing working in their field and um, you know looking after the sheep then father said why you can't go and have a look joseph uh, uh, go and have a look um, go um, and see where are they what they are doing then finally joseph found out where are they immediately bible clearly says that because of his dream the brothers hated him more look at that because of that dream if you have a dream i'll tell you you will have a attack many times devil have will put a target devil will use people devil will use some kind of circumstances and many kind of things to distract you to discourage you to pull you down look at that when when he released that dream his own brothers became enemy to him what they done they made a master plan see that dreamer is coming when we read that i am not going to i am not going to read that chapters in uh, i was reading today morning i got that uh, underline everything you know what they said the brother said look at that the dreamer is coming they never said joseph is coming our younger brother oh he in a long time he never saw him we better we go and give him a hug no they said the dreamer is coming we have to finish him off now see they try to kill the dream and the owner of the dream whoever carrying the dream look at that there is a battle all the time whoever carrying the dream carrying a vision i'm to- not talking about dream carrying a vision i'll tell you the pe- the devils will come and fight and people will come and fight and try to discourage you try to distract you see i'll tell you whatever it- please come this side <laughs> thank you see whatever the distractions come in your mind i'll tell you you are not alone bible says that the young uh, sorry the lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit hallelujah see the joseph had a dream just uh, because of that dream his brothers own brothers hated him see when when we read the bible bible says that they they have seen joseph was walking from far immediately they said the dreamer is coming this is the best time we can finish him off immediately ruben interfered no no we cannot kill this guy he had a good plan you know he was trying to protect him um, they they made a plan see but it's not good to kill him what we can do we can catch him and put him in a pit uh, he was planning to rescue him after that once the brothers gone uh, other brothers gone what they done they catch him and uh, put him in the pit joseph is in the pit now look at that dreamer is in the pit he never expected that that thing incident made joseph heart 
bro hallelujah they never expected that joseph is in the pit no they joseph was expecting see my brothers are there i never saw him for a long time they are going to hug me they are going to ask uh, many things about my father and mother about the household but look at that he received whatever he was not expected hallelujah the just opposite immediately they came and cast him tie his hands and maybe covered his mouth and push him into the pit look at that his heart broke when we study when we read about uh, the crucifixion before jesus going to the cross uh, cross what he done he went to the garden of gethsemane and he started be he was began to pray he was praying with agony he was praying to father father if it is your will please remove this one from me hallelujah that time bible says his sweat became blood start to fall on that ground hallelujah that's the first time jesus shed the blood for us for our emotional healing from every pains from every rejection and from every kind of problems every kind of persecution from every kind of uh, every kind of brokenness and from every kind of uh, every kind of isolation from every problem every agony see look at that jesus already shed the blood for us hallelujah that's the cure for us look at that uh, here joseph he is in the pit they made a plan the brothers made a plan see we better we have to sell the sell him we um, should not uh, kill him but uh, we can make some money they sold him for 20 silver coins they collected the money um, juda made a plan uh, to sell him and the plan worked he went to the potiphar pal um, sorry he went to the egyptian house he was one of the uh, prison captain he was working for pharaoh uh, he hired him as a slave he began to work in their house bible says that god started to bless potiphar's house because of joseph hallelujah look at that that's a favor of god see if you are faithful in god what we do he will put the favor upon you hallelujah wherever you cannot penetrate wherever you cannot go god will make a way to go hallelujah we no need to perform by ourselves we no need to work by ourselves but does it that doesn't mean we sh- we should be lazy no we have to put our we, we have to put our step we have to do everything by ourselves but the favor of god will take us to the next level hallelujah how many of you believe in the favor of god i believe that i experience that still i am experiencing hallelujah look at that the joseph favor will come upon you hallelujah look at that why joseph became prosperous because when he went to the pitch his heart broke he began to cry out to god lord i don't know why i am this pit i was expecting great things from brothers but i got only bitterness very hate they hated me they put me they push me into the pitch now i am alone lord but still i trust you lord. you are not a god you, i know you don't leave me alone you don't forsake me alone you will help me alone he began to pray what i am saying i i am believing like that he began to pray he had a many conversation with god see look at that the rescuer came the people they they the whoever tried to pull him in the pitch those people came and rescued him hallelujah and they sold to uh, the misre uh, the business people the, now joseph went to the egypt see now his position changed he was in the uh, he was in the land of juda now he is where where he is in egypt but this own brothers and the family holds they never knew that joseph is going to be the deliverer of their family hallelujah they never expected that what is going to happen in the future but they, when joseph released their the, his dream immediately they began to oppose it his dream hallelujah so whenever you have a dream i'll tell you you have it to um, work for that dream don't keep quiet but you have to release that dream you have to release the words or vision to your loved ones not to everyone look at that if you are ready to release that dreams to everyone they will hate you because of your dream hallelujah see i i learned this secret from my uh, spiritual father he used to say see don't share anything everything to your friends don't share everything to your family members your brothers i ask him why 
look at that joseph life he shared his precious dream you know to be along with his own brothers because of his dream because of that dream two dreams he go he went to this kind of problems he went to the pit finally he went to the egypt now he was working for the uh, that uh, potiphar you know bible says that god put his hand upon potiphar's house whatever joseph touched god began to prosper hallelujah look at that very simple thing bible says that god, the lord began to bless whatever joseph touched see what kind of blessing that i used to pray every day lord i need that kind of blessing in my life see that means if i touch someone that person will be blessed if touch if i went to a house that house will be blessed if i talk someone if i touch my hand into a business or a property or someone's life or whatever it is if i touch a person or if i make a connection with someone that person will automatically bless it hallelujah see we need that kind of blessing in our life hallelujah that's a special favor of god god bless them whatever he touched you know what happened um, potiphar's house began to prosper he never had any lack he never had any any kind of financial losses any kind of death in that family that means a protection in a divine protection see when the god's hands comes upon you when the lord's hands come comes upon your family i'll tell you god will put a special protection not only favor the automatic protection will come hallelujah whenever god put a protection again in your house what will happen whatever the enemy try to touch you whatever the sickness trying to enter in your house i'll tell you nothing will work hallelujah maybe it will come with 100% but it will can touch little bit 5% will manifestation and will go back hallelujah that's the hand of god hallelujah the enemy may try to distract you the enemy may try to take your life but i'll tell you when the protection of god will bring the permanent protection is not by the insurance company our insurance is not in this world our insurance is from heaven hallelujah the insurance our ex- insurance company need excess 650 500 1000 but i'll tell you the heavenly insurance is permanent and eternal hallelujah what we have to do we have to put our trust upon our god hallelujah look at that joseph began to prosper immediately he got in trouble he went to another test but in that test joseph was remain faithful because of that single test he went to persecution he got accused the lady accused he went to the prison joseph tried to lord lord why is happened to me i try to do obey you your words i try to cling with you but why it is happened to me and now i in the prison but god knew that the promotion is waiting for him hallelujah but still god, joseph was faithful joseph was faithful with god hallelujah he never committed any kind of sin he never kept any kind of grudges or any kind of anger or bitterness against his own brothers and family but he began to um, reconnect uh, the relationship with god in a daily basis you know one day split two dreams happened to two prisoners immediately he been promoted to the palace hallelujah when we read the next chapter 39 what what happened he called his own family members the famine came you know they lost the grain they lo- no food the people were running around for the food then finally they heard that there's a grain in this country egypt so the what happened jacob sent their um, sons okay go and buy some grains they went and collect the grain joseph found out that bible says that now joseph kept the um, um, hit himself but later on what happened joseph brought the whole house family to the egypt then he blessed them he gave him a special area to live he provided every food you no know, all other family members and all other people own people they were going through the severe famine but joseph family never experienced any kind of famines in their life hallelujah look at that actually they were persecuting their deliverer hallelujah they never knew that joseph is going to the deliverer of deliverer for that family they never knew that joseph is going to be the uh, key channel of the um, channel of provision provision for that family but when the time came joseph 
provided for his household hallelujah look at that bible says that joseph kept any kind of bitterness any kind of anger any kind of grudge against his own brothers instead of that he began to bless them with money with all the provisions with the land even own brothers they feared joseph you know because joseph got that power and authority he became a prime minister prime minister he can put a command you know immediately they will take that brothers and put in the jail but they were you know scared about him but he said no no i am not going to punish you see i am ready to release you forgive you hallelujah because of that incident joseph now is in the palace hallelujah see whatever the incidents happened in your life whatever the brokenness you went through in your life what you have to do we have to get to the, we have to find a solution for that hallelujah we god called us to you know inherit the blessing hallelujah he called us to grow he called us to grow in our daily basis hallelujah we have to experience all the heavenly blessings we most of the time we will pray okay when i go to the heaven i will experience as a blessing no 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 of course we'll have the blessings um, kept on heaven we no need to worry about that but in heaven there is no poverty hallelujah you know i need atm atm card in heaven <laughs> you know i need apple pay in the heaven you know i need to tap pay and pass no <laughs> we know need healing ministry in heaven we know need it see but we need it in we, we need it on earth hallelujah that's why jesus finished everything upon the cross hallelujah he gave the authority to the church now what we have to do we have to activate that authority we have to use that authority we have to take um, take the position and we have to tell the devil okay you have to get out from this place this place is not for you we have to speak to the demons we have to speak to the sickness See, sickness you cannot touch my children you cannot touch my child you cannot touch my family members you have to take your pack back and leave then it will leave bible says god will god will bless the humble god will give more grace to the humble bible says resist the devil he will flee away from you submit to god resist the devil he will flee from you hallelujah see today today we heard god will heal the broken hearted people hallelujah see when the healing manifests in our soul what will happen the healing will manifest in our bodies the healing will manifest in your marriage the healing will manifest in your families and the community hallelujah so that's why i say was prophesying god the lord has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor he's he sent me to heal the broken hearted people hallelujah see we can help others if anyone is going through brokenness if anyone is going through that challenge challenges what do you need to do you have to go and tell them see don't worry about it see jesus can heal you Jesus can set you free from every kind of brokenness. Hallelujah. See, we have to believe that God is our master. He is he is able. His hand is able. He can he can bring a solution in your life. You uh, see whenever we put some kind of principles in our life because the word of God has principle now i am learning lot of principle you know now i am learning from many men of god from the bible i am learning every day new 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 principle how because you know whenever we apply a principle for a particular solution the principle will bring the solution hallelujah because god put everything all the word of god for good for our for us for to make us healthy to make us happy to make us to inherit all the blessings so we had to put we had to use the each uh, right key for the right purposes hallelujah the one of the uh, principle i am going to um, close it one of the principle is sowing and reaping hallelujah sowing and reaping whatever we sow we shall receive that means we sow an apple seed we will get apples plenty of apples we sow an orange seed we'll get oranges not apples we sow love we'll we'll list, we'll get plenty of love the people is to love you we sow finances you'll what we'll get finances can i quickly share one of my testimony how i got my house i'll tell you i was running the business i was you know doing missions and all year and all then in 2014 
um, my spiritual father, Prophet Shaiju Matthew, he wanted to visit Australia. We invited him for a meeting. That time, you know, I was just a believer. I was running a home ministry in a church, like a home, home group. Uh, just I began to step into the ministry. Uh, that time, I invited him. He said, okay, he can come. He, he, that time, he migrated to Canada. He was he also new in Canada that time. I called him. I invited him. I never thought about the flight tickets and all other expenses. You know, I thought uh, he's going to do or you know, because he's coming from Canada. Then he said, "Okay, send me the flight ticket." That time I realized that I have to purchase a flight ticket from Canada to Melbourne. That's not easy ticket. It's not from uh, Bali to Australia. It's not. No, it's coming from the opposite side. Then I spoke, asked to some people. They said, sorry, we can't help you financially. We can help you with some support, that kind of emotional support, not with finances. You know, actually me and uh, my wife, we were saving some money for, to buy a house for a long time. It's around $6,000. It's not a big money, $6,000. Uh, I don't have any other choice. <laughs> I never told her. Um, I'm going to use this money to purchase the flight ticket. You know what I did? I slowly take the money, start to do the things. I purchased the flight ticket. I put him in a hotel. Uh, then uh, we booked the venue uh, for the meeting, you know, the conferences. Uh, we put, we done everything, all the arrangements. Uh, I went to the, ho the, the airport. We picked him up. He was so happy. You know, the money was going from my bank. You know, he was, um, he went to the hotel and I paid for it, food and everything. You know, I looked up to him very well. At the end of the uh, day, before when he was um, going out from Melbourne to, uh, Mont sorry, Montreal. At that time he was in Montreal. And then he visited to my house. Uh, we were staying, uh, living in a rental house. But it's not a small house, I'll tell you. It was a big house. Um, he came to our house. He sat on that couch, still I remember on the right side there's a blue couch, he sat there. Then he said, I'm going to pray and I'm leaving. Then what he did, he got up from his chair, um, sofa, and he knelt down on the floor. Then he cried from the spirit. I never heard that, that kind of prayer. Just one prayer, Lord, bless him, Lord. Simple prayer, he finished within one minute. He left. I um, uh, took him to the uh, airport and we say hi and um, bye and he, he went back. No, the next week we received a letter in our letter box. The landlord, the letter, okay, you have to vacate this property as soon as possible within one month time. They gave us one month notice. We don't know where we to go. That time we had three children. Ruas was very little. Um, uh, we don't know where to go. We, we try to search the properties, you know, rented properties. It is very hard to get the properties. Uh, then we went to the uh, went to the real estate agent. We requested. See, it is very hard to um, leave from this place because we were using that place around eight years. Uh, it's very hard to go uh, to find a property. Please give us a little bit more time. We requested two months, but they gave us two and a half months. Uh, then we, we began to search for the properties but we don't have money i never told her you know that money six thousand is go gone gone when i look at my bank account only five hundred dollars left but i don't know how to bring that deposit but i know god is going to give us a house but i don't know where the money comes from you know what happened i began, we, i was thinking and going to pray uh, i started to pray the next week one of my uh, our client business client he called us he said okay we are going to give this contract this is a project we are going to give to you you have to do manufacture everything in locally in australia because i'm doing i have a business we are doing importing trading business so what do you have to do you had to this particular product you cannot do it in overseas you have to manufacture only in australia uh, then i don't know because i don't have money to purchase the uh, you know the material material itself cost 16 or 20 thousand uh, dollars the material supplier won't supply because i don't have that kind of big setup here 
you know somehow one of the material supplier supplied the money free of cost 60 days credit hallelujah look at that how the heaven will work um, you know what happened we got that order uh, i've already um, asked for the put the purchase order they sent and that's the material i am organized another manufacturer local manufacturer um, then you know that that guy he started the new business normally will do that great i went him and sat with him see i need this product to be manufactured this price he exactly agreed whatever i said because desperate uh, he was in desperate situation he wants some business what happened within 2 3 weeks we finish all the products we packed and sent to the deliver to the customer and the next month the money came i paid off everything the 20000 dollars from the material supplier the leftover came as a deposit for our house hallelujah see this is the way the heaven will work hallelujah that means what we had to do whatever we sow we will reap we sowed money we reap money it didn't taken one year it didn't taken five years no within we the heaven began to move i never saw that that one you know put a great um i start to think about how that one work then finally i got that point you know even when we before we moved to the house you know we we never had any furniture uh we you know we had old furniture then we we can pray lord we don't have furniture one of our old church member you know previous church member said uh, brother you please don't borrow money you know don't uh, credit card or anything you know even you don't have furniture stay on the floor you know she said like that then i take it as a prophecy i we we decided i'm we are not going to borrow or after pay or whatever it is credit card you know what we are going to do we are going to believe god to supply the furniture you know what happened the next day the company ring me uh, kingsley we need another order we have another order to give to you the same thing same procedure same product everything is same just click 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 you know within 40 days when we before we moved to that house all the money came for $15000 for the furniture hallelujah see look at that bible says that God will give his servants in the sleep. Hallelujah. See whenever we are sleeping, God is planning something. Oh, how I can bless my child? How I can bless my son? How I can bless Pastor David? How I can bless bless he? How I can bless that brother? How this brother? How I can bless this person? He's God is looking for someone. God heart is good heart. Look at that. Always my heart, I want to bless my children. I am I'm, I'm I want to buy the best for him. Best when I was shopping for Ruvas, he said, "Why, Daddy? Why are you buying this much? I don't need it." I said, "You keep it. That's for you. Look at that. That's the father's side. I'm an earthly father. Look at that. How our heavenly father. See, our heavenly father has everything. He holds everything. Hallelujah. He holds everything. The universe." the whole authority all the power all the dominion everything is in his hand hallelujah one touch one split moment one angel one breakthrough one one opening one contact is enough to finish your needs to meet your needs hallelujah see when we study the bible you know philip been taken from one place to another place without an aeroplane it's happened in the bible in the new testament see the same thing because we are believing the supernatural hallelujah we are serving a supernatural god his hand is supernatural hallelujah he be, he moves behind the scene we may think this is not had to happen this is for too late no no i'm too old and no 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 this is no 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 i tell you it will happen hallelujah we have to believe that it is happen because bible says now to him who is able to do exceedingly he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we think or ask according to the power of the holy spirit is working in you hallelujah how many of you have the power of the holy spirit in you see this is enough first of all what we have to do uh, i was trying to say one principle you know we have hundreds of principles from the word of god i am not going to take the offering now please don't misunderstand me <laughs> that's one of my story you know i was sharing this story with my children they uh, you know they they should know how the money kingdom work you know what happened after that i know i i learn a secret you know what i do after that i began to sow i sow 1000 2000 you know few months before we sow 5000 dollars 
Now I'm going to pray, I'm going to so ten thousand dollars. I used to say to my children, one day I'm going to pay and to so hundred thousand dollars. Again, I'm going to so one million dollar. This is my faith. I'm releasing. Sorry, please. If you can oh, copy with me, you know you can cooperate with me. Okay. See, money is not a matter for God. God is looking for your heart. How you see the money. Hallelujah. I'll tell you. If you want to see the prosperity, financial for prosperity, you have to sow to the Lord. No other magic at all. No other trick at all. I have learned from many men of God. See, another thing, you have to sow to a man of God. Whenever a man of God come to my house, uh, what I do, I already I um, I put a discipline in our house. Whatever uh, they have, every family member has to give a gift to the man of God. I'm. Um, See um, the what they do. I don't give the money. They have to put from their pocket money. So all the children they will put the envelope. You know, Dr. Matthew Grola came last time. You know, <laughs> they everyone running and rushing money. Then he said, "Okay, stop, stop." He asked a question. Have you put a demand on this seed? What you sow? He knows that principle. He knows what he have to put a demand on it. That day I also got another revelation. I have to put a demand on it. Hallelujah! See, when we sow something, when we sow to God, what we have to do? We have to put a demand on that seed. It will work. I'll tell you. It will multiply. You will have. You will hold multiple properties. I'll tell you. That's the kingdom principle. If you are ready to sow to the work of the Lord, we are not ser- serving to uh, sow into a person or an organization or a church. Actually, we are sowing to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah! Our God doesn't need any money. He doesn't need any money. He moves by invisible realm. Hallelujah! Favor. Hallelujah is called favor. Access, unmerited access. Wherever you cannot go, God will make a you know way. He push all the chairs and He will come to you and get to you. Hallelujah! He doesn't need any anyone's approval because God is God. He calls everything. Shall we stand on our feet? Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Bible says. God the Lord has anointed Jesus to heal the broken hearted people Have you been through the brokenness in your life Have you been through persecution Have you been through rejection Have you been through betrayal situation If you have any kind of wounds in your soul, ask God, Lord, heal my wounds. You may be rejected from your family, from your own mother, from own father, or from your family members, or you may persecuted for whatever things you never committed. I tell you, this is a time we had to release that. God want release something new in your life. Lord I pray right now Lord Father let every kind of brokenness the people went through Lord let them heal right now in the mighty name of Jesus every kind of rejection every kind of persecution every kind of brokenness will be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I pull that kind of brokenness from the roots itself right now in the mighty name of Jesus lord let the healing will be manifest right upon the people's body right now in Jesus name lord i pray lord father every kind of traumas every kind of fears every kind of lord rejected feeling let it go away right now in Jesus name 